Hey YouTube, it's my Ish Marie and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be washing, cleaning my scalp. Not necessarily washing my braids, but I'm going to be cleaning my scalp. Um, I have another video on how I clean my scalp while wearing box braids. But I'm just doing this just to show in case you haven't seen that one. But anyway, I just simply take a spray bottle and put some water in it. I add some shampoo and I added 10 drops of peppermint oil. And as you can see, my scalp is really flaky and um, dry and it's just not clean. So what I did was try to scratch some of this dirt up. I did that toward the front area, not necessarily in the back cause I couldn't see. And then I just spray this uh, mix on my scalp and then I just rub it with the tips of my fingers. Now in the front part, I did that for each part, just, you know, um, part it over, flip the braids and I did each part that way. But in the back, since I couldn't see it, I just kind of sprayed and felt around and cleaned it that way. Um, I think adding peppermint oil to my uh, shampoo and water, I think that makes a huge difference because number one, when I normally wash my hair, I do it twice. I do one initial wash and then I do it again just to make sure it's clean. But when you have braids in, you're not trying to wash your hair two and three times. So in order to get that one good clean, that good, uh, you know, clean wash, you just want to add some extra to make sure your scalp is really fresh. Yep. So then when I got through, when I put all the um, shampoo from the spray bottle in my scalp, I went to the shower to rinse it out. Um, I didn't put any conditioner in my hair in the shower, not like I normally would. Anything you put in your hair with um, braids in, you want to make sure you dilute it. So I would recommend taking, when you finish rinsing the shampoo out, I would recommend taking a spray bottle, add some water and conditioner, probably more water than conditioner. And then you can add some essential oils if you want to, but you don't have to. But put the conditioner on your braids and on your scalp, on your hair that way versus just taking some regular conditioner because that conditioner will cause buildup at the root of the braid. And then by the time it's time for you to take your braids down, you're going to have um, a bunch of like build up and you'll see like a white chunk of build up at the root of the braid so so whatever you do to your hair with braids it's best to dilute any product that you're putting on the on your hair so when i finished rinsing out my shampoo the only thing i did was take some i put some lemongrass oil in my um the bottle that i showed with the oil in it it had lemon, a few drops of lemongrass oil and I think it had peppermint oil in it too. But that's what I use to put on my scalp. And I put this on my scalp before I set under the dryer. And then when I finish putting the oil in my scalp, I use that foam to kind of set reset my braids to make sure that they don't get, you know, unravel and not unravel, but like frizzy and stuff like that. And then when I put the mousse, the mousse on, it wasn't mousse, it's foam. When I put the foam on, then I tie my hair down. Then I sit under the dryer for about, I want to say about 30 minutes, probably longer, just whatever time it takes for the braids to dry. Because the worst thing is walking around with dripping wet braids. So I made sure my ends were dry. Now, like I stated before, I typically leave my braids in for three months. Um, I don't know if my braids are slipping or if my hair is just growing fast. But when I looked at my roots, even on the video, when you look at my roots, my new growth is really coming in faster than it should be or it used to. So I'm thinking I might take them out at two months. Um, I'm not sure. 
this one I'm just gonna play it by ear. It might be two or three months, I don't know. 